Here are a couple models demonstrating lumbar spinal stenosis. Crafted from a degenerative specimen, reduced disc height, reduced lordosis, osteophytosis, thickened ligamentum flavum, projecting osteophyte into the IVF. You can see this demonstrates lateral stenosis or foraminal stenosis, worsened by extension and improved with flexion. So also in the spinal canal, you can see how the canal will narrow in extension. All right. See that? It even creaks the facet joints as they slide together. Narrows in extension and also opens in flexion. You can use a, an object, a pencil works, uh, but you can see how the spinal canal in this lateral recess here on this side is a little bit more open, all right? So this freely moves on this side, but if I bring it over to this lateral recess, slide it over this way, it's stiffer. It's more narrow. Stenosis takes effect there. Also in extension, so you can see how it still has some friction here, bumping up against the thickened ligamentum flavum, but in extension, it gets even tighter. If we move over to this lateral recess on the left, it opens and with extension, it's still reasonably free. But let's slide it over into that lateral recess on the right. That's tighter and even more tight, but in flexion, it opens just by a millimeter or two, which can make a difference. And on top of that, if you really want to get into the details, and with this model, the posterior elements can be removed. So in this case, you can see that this L4 nerve root, this is L4 or 5 motion segment, right? with a dynamic disc bulge. This L4 nerve roots being affected by this projecting osteophyte into the IVF. Right? And this one here, this L5 nerve root, is being affected by the thickened ligamentum flavum and the disc bulge at this lower level. So here, right, here's this L4 nerve root. You can see how this projecting osteophyte has an effect on the spacing of, the, of this IVF. And then this nerve root, L4, is being sandwiched between this thick, thickened ligamentum flavum right, and also the adjacent disc, right? You can see how the disc will, right? So more detail when explaining lumbar spinal stenosis.